Hello again. Part 2 to the simple mole calculation lesson is adding uh, a couple extra steps. So we have made this what looks to be fairly complicated diagram, but it absolutely isn't. It's just new to you, and trust me, in five minutes or less you're going to have this thing dialed. We technically have three different ways to calculate moles at this point in our course. We have a grams, or a mass, we have a volume, which is the liters at STP, and we have the number of molecules, which is that crazy big Avogadro's number. All three of those units can be converted into moles, and then from moles you can go to all three of those units again. So you can go from mass into moles into volume, or mass into moles into molecules. We can go from liters at STP into moles into mass. That's a pretty common one. You can convert molecules into moles into mass. We're simply applying the principles of unit conversions, which we have mastered way back in the beginning of the course, and we're just throwing in more sciency units, grams, liters, and molecules, ending in grams, liters, and molecules. So you simply use the number that you're given, turn into a robot, times line, get to moles, times line, cancel off moles, and then balance and cancel the units that you need to. So it's actually really simple. Let's have a look at this first one in red. 142 grams of copper into molecules of copper. So you start the number you're given, times line, get rid of grams by putting grams on the bottom. The molar mass of copper is 63.5. You want to cancel off grams, you have moles. But we don't want to end in moles, so we've got to cancel it off. Times line. The only way to cancel off moles is by putting moles on the bottom, so now moles cancel off. You want to end in molecules, so you put molecules on top. 602 times 10 to the 23. And yes, I should have the word molecules here, but I am lazy. Don't freak out. So, 142.0 divided by 63.5 times 602 to the 23 is our final answer. That's a multi-step. We have three ways to start and three ways to end. So these questions get really repetitive really quickly. Letter B. Liters of any gas, because we don't care what it is at STP, to grams. Start off with liters times line, put liters on the bottom have to memorize 22.4 liters at SDP, converts it into moles. We don't want moles. Times line, got to get rid of moles, put it on the bottom in the next step. You want to end in grams, grams on top, add up SO3, 1S, 3 O's, gives you 80.1. Plug those numbers into the calculator. 68.34 divided by 22.4 times 80.1 gives you 244 when you round to three uh, sig figs. Pretty simple. Here's the third one. I'll talk less. And the fourth one. And the fifth one. Pause the video, copy this down, find the paths. Starting with molecules, put molecules on the bottom. Convert it to moles. Moles is now on top. You don't want moles, so you put moles at the bottom. You want to end in liters at STP, so you put 22.4 liters on top. Pretty straightforward, that red one. Really repetitive. You'll do hundreds of these. Starting off with grams of oxygen, times line. Put the molar mass of oxygen on the bottom. Oxygen, remember, is O2, so 16 plus 16, that's 32. Moles on top, put moles on the bottom in the next step. Put liters on top, because that's what you want. Done. Have a look at E in green. Pause it if you need to. Here's probably the most complicated one, but once you try a couple of these, you'll see where I'm going with this. We're going to start from liters. We're going to go into moles. That's in black. We're going to cancel off moles. We're going to put molecules on top. 602 to the 23. That's the next step. This question ends, though, with individual oxygen atoms. We don't want... Um, molecules of CO3, we want how many oxygens are there in that CO3. And in one CO3, there are three oxygens. 
seems pretty obvious, but it takes a second for your head to wrap around that concept. If you had one CO3, you would have one carbon and three oxygens. If you had three CO3s, you would have three carbons and three times three for nine oxygens. But we don't have three CO3s. We have liters to moles to molecules of CO3. So we want to put molecules of CO3 on the bottom to cancel it off. And we want individual oxygens on top, atoms of oxygen, 3 over 1. Put all that through your calculator. That's how many oxygens you have in 5.9 liters of CO3. These are multi-step questions, three ways to start, arguably four ways to end. We will have density thrown in there at the beginning, and we're going to have another um, a way to get moles in a few more lessons. Um, so here's the multi-step mole calculations.